Hey, what's up? I'm going to install a hardwire kit. This is a 2024 CRV. I'm going to use slot 12 because it's wide open. The fuse box is right here. So I'm tapping the driver's side. The car's on right now. And I'm getting some readings. That's the left side, driver's side. Turn the car off. So that, that would be the auxiliary power. I could take this panel off, but it's hard to get the clips off and to reposition it. So I'll most likely, I just pop this loose. It's based on a clip. And there's a, a bolt back there that maybe I could use for a ground. We'll see what's up. This is the unit that I'm gonna install. The N4 has another camera and also a unit and hardwire. This is the Vantru hardwire. I just plug this up to there. Keep in mind that this is the power side. And this is the first fuse. And then this was this is the secondary fuse. Since the slot is empty, I might have to put in an additional fuse. We'll see if I need it or not. I most likely won't be using the Zox or the, the yellow wire, whatever it stands for. I'll, I'll try to only use the red and the black one. So I grounded the wire onto that bolt underneath the steering wheel. And then I put the fuse holder in slot 12. Hey, what's up? I'm trying to hook up this Ventru N2 Pro. <clears throat> Pretty much I use 12 and 46 which aren't, they're both auxiliary power ports, by the way. And you have to use uh, two fuse holders. But if you want it on all the time, then you have to find one where it's powered on all the time. I'm just doing it this way because I don't, I don't need the, the camera on when the car's not on. I grounded it over here. It's a 2004 Pilot. Not pilot. It's a 2004 CRV. I plugged it up and it works. So we'll see what's up. I'm going to hook up this unit in hardwire. And I'm going to tap. Use this to tap into this positive wire right here. So just put the red wire between these teeth and then clamp it down. Take the male and then plug it into the female. I put both of the grounds there, same spot. If it doesn't fit in, use a, a flat head and then a needle nose. I got both of them working, so we'll see what's up. I have to tuck all the wires in and mount everything. So I'll just put this back. It's all clipped up. I just bundled up the access wire. I may tuck the access wire behind this panel right here. Just tuck everything up underneath here and then run it here and then go up and then over. I just ran the wire behind this strip and then I got it up to there. So for this wiring I just used the prank tool to pull this back and then Pretty much, I, I pulled the weather stripping back and then I tucked the wires behind this panel right here. I just pushed them into there 
I didn't necessarily take this off because I'm pretty sure it's all clip based but I just didn't want to take it off. So just push all of the wires all the way up. And just tuck all of the wiring behind here and I route it over there. I pretty much just yanked this, it has two clips and I run the wires over. Pull the wires through and then tuck it under here. And then get rid of the slack and then just tuck it and in, tuck it into this area. This is what my setup looks like. This one wasn't working initially, so maybe I have to mess around with the power top, but good luck with your setup. I haven't installed the rear cam yet. I'll do that at a later date. All right, peace.